Hi everyone, I like to be inspired by things that I see. When I'm on Pinterest, I like to look at things and be challenged to try to create them. So that's what I've kind of been doing this week. I've been busy making things, working on different things that are new to me. And I'd like to kind of explain it to you in my video that you will see today and also kind of a surprise journal that I made for someone. So um, this is what I've been working on. A little journal that I made for someone. And uh, it's Renee over at JT Designs. And Renee, if you don't want to see the little journal, then don't watch yet because I'm going to mail it to you. But I told her I would send her something. She sent me a package in the mail. And uh, it kind of looks like this. It just had a whole bunch of different things in it for making journals. And that's what she has in her, one of the things she has in her store. She designs journal packages for people that want to create journals. So she had mentioned um, she gets some inspiration from watching my videos and just had felt that she wanted to send me one of her little journal packages. So I created a journal for her completely out of the things that she had sent me. So it was kind of fun for me because I was challenged to work with different types of things or things that I usually like to put in my journals were not particularly in this box. So then it kind of helps me to use different things and um, I really enjoyed putting it together. So I'll kind of do a little explanation of the journal and a flip through of that for you. Uh, she had sent me a bunch of envelopes. So this is a... Um, Manila envelope, and I did one signature with Baker's twine. She had some rolls of like wallpaper, so I put that down on the cover, and different images she had in there. So I cut this little girl out and added some of the lace. I um, the lace was pretty white, and when I like to work with things, I I like them to look a little aged. So I I kind of age everything. A little bit of sheet music she had in there too, and. Some different laces and this was a real pink pink fabric and I kind of dyed it and aged it to look quite old and so this is the ribbon I did put a little paper fastener knob on there and it had a recipe card in it and with a recipe on a little recipe card so I made a little pocket with one and put a little recipe card in there pocket and up on the top here I used some of the leftovers for little tuck spots on the recipe card. This page, she had some fabric in there. It was kind of a copper silky fabric, so I made a page, fabric page. There were some charms in there. I made a little bookmark out of some of the ribbon that just kind of lays free in there so it can be moved around in the journal. I added some lace. She had some flowers in there. I cut this out of some of the paper. She had this kind of, um, I think you do needlework on this, so I kind of dyed that. She had one of these cards in there. Just kind of cute. Stuck that and it makes a pocket there. And a little file card she had. Some tags. I stamped on the tags and just made little tags out of some little leftovers and some pieces from some of the images. I cut the images apart and made some cards or tags for her that stick in here. She had some, some um, embroidery floss in there. Um, this was another... One of the cards she sent, and I put some, cut some images out. I think this was one of my tags. I just stuck in some of my tags in there for kind of matched. And this tucks in this little tuck spot here, and they both go in this little. And then she had this piece of paper in there. It was all kind of dyed up, so I used that for another page. She had some of these images, some of these religious cards. I had a pretty artwork on them. I think they're kind of old. Just stuck that back in there. A little tuck spot on the top here where they kind of tuck in there. And this page was some more of the fabric. Or <laughs> the paper. I cut that out. She had all these little tags in there. And I just kind of stamped on it and added that in. It's a little tuck spot in there. So sewed on the fabric. Ruffled fabric on the bottom. And she had these cards in there. It kind of looked cute to stick that in here. Stick that in first. This was another file. It, it come, it came that shape, so I just used it. This was another 
lady. I stuck her in there and put a little butterfly around her neck. This is another one of my tags. I just stuck that in there for her. Added some lace on this side. She had some old book pages in there, so uh, they had pretty graphics on, so I used that. I kind of covered some of the words with paper and added a tag in there. And she had this buttrick, um, like a copy of a pattern. So I, when I had to cut it down to fit in the book, I had this left over, so I made a little page out of that. This is the legs from the girl from the front, so she's just a little, the legs are a little tuck spot. Another part of the image that was left over is a little pocket, some of the ribbon I put on the bottom, or trim I should say. This is a card she had in there, I just stamped on it, made another pocket. This was another piece she had in there. I added some paper clips on here. She wants to clip things in. It was kind of, I like the design on those pages. Well, this was another old book page. I put some paper on to cover the words. The envelope is on there. I, it's a tuck spot on this side. The envelope flips out. It's got another little tag in there. Covered the words here. So there's journaling spots. This was another one of the cards. I just made a, a, a little uh, booklet out of it with an image on. That's the pattern page. Kind of aged them up a little bit. Dyed them a little on the edges and inked, stamped on there. And there's a few journaling pages. Added some of the lace there. And this is another one of the recipe cards that was in the kit. And I added this card of friendship in there for her. This is another page. I just kind of folded it to make pockets. And added another card that she had in there and stamped on there. And some stamping on these empty pages. That's the other part of that buttrick pattern. And there's the uh, old book page stamped on there. And added another pocket journal card in there with pockets on. Another one of the little tags. And she had a card, so I kind of aged it up and put it on this little flap side. I added a tag in here. This is an old book page folded over covered the words. I had, she had these little envelopes in here and this envelope. I cut this envelope down a little bit to fit in this journal and added a card in here with this envelope is attached on and another card she had in there. I kind of aged it a little so it would match in the journal. So then that slides. This envelope is kind of the pull for the getting the tag in and out. And she had some this big clips in there and some dangle things so I added that in on this card and made another pocket there and pocket out of this added a tag in there she had some ribbons in there so the kits are really fun to work with a lot of different ephemeras in there that I probably wouldn't have had old postcards I sewed it on this is the other side of that fabric page some pretty images she had in there and I made a tag that sticks in this she was quite long so I just cut her and then put made a tag out of the other part of the image and added a couple of tags that were left over paper. I added this image in here and this for her. Added some of her music sheet paper on the back. She had some old postcards in there, so I stuck that in this pocket. And it's the back with the sheet music and another image. So the images are all really pretty and fun to work with. Um, she has lots of different kinds of beads and things in there too. So it's... Um, I think you really enjoy working with her, her kit. So I'll link it below. And that is the journal that I created for her. And if she wants it, she can use it. She can re-gift it to someone she thinks would like it. But uh, I just wanted to, out of appreciation for her support and her um, kindness of sending me uh, a random act of kindness. I, I never got a package like that before. So it was really, really quite nice and fun. So... That's the journal I made for her. Also uh, made a couple things for on my Etsy store. Been working with some um, textile collages. The, one of the groups that I joined had a textile swap, I think it was, but I didn't get in on it on time. so. Uh, I am just kind of created some, she had a kind of an example of one that kind of looks something like this and then I added, I think there was a necklace. But there's a, 
about I have about four of those made up have different one says celebrate one says inspire one says create one says imagine so uh, they'll all be over in the Etsy store they're all a little bit different sizes then I created some other textile collages uh, I really can enjoy working with different mediums and these are on a piece of burlap and muslin and just different strips of fabric and buttons and lace and um, you know all the things you have left over this is a bicycle it says journey <coughs> excuse me this one has a bird and a little image of a girl a butterfly and a little flower with the gemstone in it and you know they can you can use them for wall art you can glue them to a journal cover you can use them inside a journal for a pocket uh, there's just a lot of uses this is another one it says love uh, has a lot of the same types of uh, you know, fabric birds and fibers and flowers and buttons it's kind of all stitched hand stitched around so there's some sewn stitching and um, just kind of use whatever you have and whatever it takes to to create it this is another one I have so those will be listed on the Etsy this one's got a little charm on it a butterfly charm hangs down these will be listed on the my Etsy store too so you can go over there and take a look at those and see where you might like to use them too and also there's the little hand fibers that um, is probably I think this one has a yard and this darker one has two yards uh, kind of looks like that and this one has a it's like a can't find the end now it's like something you do use on upholstering furniture or something this creates a nice Nice edge on pages or edges of journal pages. That's kind of what it looks like. So that's that card. And there's one like this. This is uh, what I used on some of my collages on the sides. Just kind of a nice woven trim. And then there's a pink one on there too. So those, this one has kind of teals and blues and greens. And this one has just the fuchsia pinks. And I like to use those in some of my journals. And then this card has three. It has the green, the green um, same trim, and then, and then the black trim, feather trim kind of. And then this real uh, kind of meshy, pretty textured, trim has some kind of greens and purples in it so I'll have those cards in the Etsy store. I thank you for watching. Bye. And I want to say extra special thank you to Renee at GT Designs. Her link is below.